Hello and welcome back to another episode of All About Bridge Engineering and in today's episode we will see the practical application of beams that have holes along the web or the beams that are also known as castellated beams. Before that let's have a brief overview of the type of superstructure that we have today in this episode you can see a very colorful pier over which there are certain set of bearings and on top of these bearings we have longitudinal girders in the form of plate girders. Before we jump into the main content of this episode that is the castellated beams have a look at the type of bearings over each of the spear cap and also see that the girders are supported directly over these bearings. If you have any idea what is this type of bearing called let me know in the comment section and we will have a dedicated episode on various types of bearings somewhere in near future and now this is the pier side let me show you let me show you the abutment side of the same bridge and I will freeze the screen for a while so that we can simply count the number of girders and the number of bearings on this very bridge. So if we just count the bearings from right to left, let's count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and there is a one hidden after or hidden behind this vertical pole which makes it 11, 12, 13 and 14. So we see that there are 14 set of bearings and it also means that there are 14 individual plate girders and how these plate girders are interconnected in the transverse direction that is done with the help of cross beams or cross girders and in this very bridge those cross girders are castellated girders or castellated beams because there is a clear cut opening in these cross beams so again let me freeze the screen for a while you can see if you focus on the leftmost cross beam you can see there are two types of openings one is the circular opening which is at the bottom and the top opening is actually an is actually an elliptical opening so both these openings both these types of openings are present in one particular cross beam which is generally not the case in many bridges so that is why I thought it would be better to share with all the viewers all the engineers who are watching this episode to present them different shapes of holes in a single cross beam or in a single beam so this type of beam is actually known as castellated beams and also focus that all these cross beams are not in a same line they are staggered now this brings out the another question whether staggered cross beams are advantageous or cross beam that is in single line or in single pin again we will have a dedicated episode on this discussion in near future now let me talk something more about castellated beams what they are how they are made and when were they originally planned or what led to the engineers and designers back in history to come up with this concept. So castellated beams are a type of structural beam that has a regular and repeating pattern holes along their web. Castellated beams come in different sizes and shapes depending on the design and load requirements of the project. The size of the holes that we are seeing it can vary from 30% to 50% of the beam depth and the shape of the holes can be either circular, elliptical which we are seeing on this very bridge or it can be hexagonal also. Unfortunately in this very bridge there is no hexagonal hole but yes hexagonal holes on the webs of the beams are also very very common and it is also said that hexagonal holes provide the best balance between strength and flexibility without adding additional material and weight. So try to understand that whenever we have a single beam if we splice it into half from in the longitudinal direction and then place it apart at some distance which is some offset distance then whatever arrangement we will get will definitely have holes inside it. And those holes can either be circular, elliptical, hexagonal or even square holes or rectangular holes sometimes. So castellated beams, how they are made, that we just discussed. Now I will take you back to history, why they were invented and what led the engineers and designers back in time to come up with such a concept. So these beams have been used in construction since 1950s when engineers faced steel shortages after World War II. They discovered that castellated beams were cheap to produce and offered a fantastic strength to weight ratio because these are often used for long span structures like parking garages, office buildings and in this very case under bridges as well. So the biggest advantage is they can accommodate various services like pipes, ducts, cables within the holes reducing the need for false ceilings or additional framing which you can also see in this very case. Please observe very carefully that the top elliptical hole is actually carrying a utility pipe and we do not have to make other arrangements to suspend something and then keep the pipe over, at, over that. So these holes are serving the purpose and not only this as we just discussed that when we castellate the beam the weight of the overall beam will remain same but its depth will be increased and we all know that once the depth is increased the moment of inertia which is a 
which is directly dependent upon the depth and not only in single powers but in the power of three. So the depth, on increasing the depth, definitely moment of inertia increases and once the moment of inertia has increased, the beam has higher capability to take more moment. Its moment of resistance will increase many folds. So that is how the strength to weight ratio increases. With same weight but increased depth, we have a high strength of the beam. So that is why these beams are very advantageous if utilized in proper sense. If you want to learn more about castellated beams, you can definitely check out Design Guide 31 published by AISC and you will get a better idea about the same. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about castellated beams. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos on bridge engineering topics. Thank you for watching and see you next time very soon.